Okay, we are back with more spookiness. Since a lot of the spookiness we have tried has failed. Failed? Well, the first few we tried have failed. Okay, you got me on that one. Yeah, the first House of the Dead recording didn't go so well. As evidence in the, the House of the Dead we haven't put up yet. We did it twice, though. Yeah. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts of the American Are you talking like the summer. actual gameplay or the recording? The gameplay. Remember the first night we did it? It was yeah, and it, was it stopped a, recording. A terrible disaster. Uh, that was caused by the T virus. That was for a mutagenic uh, toxin uh, created that, by the, the international other one. Yeah, but it also happened during House of the Dead. Did it? Yeah, I swear I saw was that first. No, because like forty minutes. No, because remember we the tried House of the Dead three and it was utter garbage. Yeah. So we played through House of the Dead two again, like the, a week later. Hey, we downloaded a game. Yep. <laughs> We're playing this on PS3, in case you can't tell. The fuck else could we play on? We could be playing the original the PS1 disc. I do not have the patience to fuck with that with a capture card. It's true, yeah. Or PS2. Yeah. But I don't have this game anymore, I used to. So this was, this is pretty much my favorite uh, Resident Evil game. Three for me. Four, four is very good, but like out of the classic ones, this one I, I just absolutely love. I did play the shit out of that demo, though. Having on PC. Did I did I put in the wrong disc? No, I'm on it. No, I'm in a car, so I couldn't have Claire Starks on bike. <clears throat> I say I want to be Leon. What have we got here? Which I've read the. We were talking about the novelization. I actually read the novelization for this one. Uh -huh. they, there's a little monologue with Leon, like him being late to the police station. So he's gonna be picking cheeseburger out of his teeth during roll call. Did, uh, did they happen to reference that in 4? Because I remember him saying that he was... Uh, like, like, wait. Something about his first day on the force. Did he mention being late? I don't remember. I don't know if he mentioned being late, but I think he does mention something about his first day. Yeah. Because apparently, like, in 4, it's super early into his career as being, uh... What could have done this? What is stuff called? Salted Security? Homeland? No, 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 for like the president. Secret Service. There you go, Secret Service. Why did I say security? What are these things? Alright, that's far enough. Don't move! God. I like even though he like hasn't reported to the police station, he has his uniform and his service pistol. Like already. I don't think they give you that stuff. Well, I don't know anything about being a cop or anything, but I feel like they, they don't give you that before your first day on the job. You know, I'm not sure myself. Yeah. I'm to ask Richard. Wait! Don't shoot! Jesus. I like you just shot that guy. Like, okay, obviously he was not human, but he kind of just didn't even, like, take a split second. Don't need to. Okay. He's the only police car. Can you steal another officer's car if you're a police officer? I mean, I guess you can, but... I don't, I don't know if the proper term is steal, but... I know for a fact that whenever that one crazy bitch took that car, the officer whose car was stolen, he ended up having to hitch a ride with another one. Yeah, he hitched a ride with someone else. That's a hell of a story, too. That's a fucking monster race. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you told me Oh. You remember when these graphics were slick? Yeah, I remember when they used to terrify me, too. I was actually about to say that. Like, these games rocked me to my little eight-year-old core whenever they came out. What officer leaves a gun in the glove compartment of his vehicle? Uh, don't, don't know. I'm pretty sure that's against regulations. Oh, yeah, and I don't know anything about being a cop. So. <laughs> he went through the back window. I can goddamn sarcophagus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Drinking, goddamn it. I'm gonna end up spewing. Mr. Something all over the place. Mr. Something. Mr. This? Yes, Mr. Oh, this. shit, it's not even the right one. Yeah. It's Dr. This. Yeah. Thank you, Steinsgate. <laughs> Getting me back into 
fattening, unhealthy ass sodas. I'll meet you there. Okay. Everything you eat's bad for you. Yeah. And trying to change that. <laughs> Unescapable destiny. <sighs> they put this game on the fucking uh, game con. Oh yeah! My brother had a game con and I was trying so hard to find it. <laughs> Believe it or not, one of the fucking local harps had it. Really? I never bought it. Because <gasps> it was a piece of garbage? It was absurd. Well, expensive. Yeah. Also, the, the uh, N-Gage. Remember the N-Gage? The, the cell phone yes, game system? Yes, yes, <laughs> The one that you had to, like, reverse taco hold it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, before I start this cutscene, there's a great video on YouTube where someone uh, changes out the dude's dialogue for if Claire walks in. So he just looks at Leon. Sorry about that, honey. <laughs> it's hysterical. Who are you? What are you doing here? Um, there used to be oh, a Resident Evil right. magazine. I'm a human. I say magazine, but it was really it was like a comic, but in magazine form. Mm -hmm. There was actually some really good stuff. Like it was really violent and gory. Sorry. About they actually like come to this guy's store before the outbreak starts. I thought you were like getting crazy. And he's just like, I've sold this more this ammo town? today than I have in the past three years combined. Jesus. I don't have a clue. It was really good. By the time I there's a there's a part where like Leon goes to some like backwoods uh, town, and they're like they're giant like vampire bats. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up. Huh. All right. Uh. The, can't see that familiar. I doubt I have any more. They're probably wrecked by this point. Why did he just, like, stand by the window? I could waste all my bullets and get that shotgun, but I, I'll get one at the police station. Oh, nope, wrong way. Yes, you can waste your time and, and get the shotgun there. The best part is if you if you just leave, you just hear him get killed. I'm not, not getting the alternate costume. To the point. You know, well, this is just going right over my head. Oh. To get the alternate costumes, you had to go to the police station without picking up a single item. Oh. And then you had to beat, uh, there's a special zombie, like, underneath the police station who takes it's a... It's Brad. Yeah, and he takes a fuck ton of ammo. Brad? Yes. I'm huh. not kidding. Like, it's <laughs> absurd. You know the timeline between two and three, right? Well, three is... It takes place in between... Uh, the stories of two. Yeah. Which I actually kind of enjoy. God, I hate it. No, uh, three. I got it, I got it backwards. The first half of three is before two. Yeah. But two occurs in the middle nope, nope. of three. Nope, not what I wanted. God, I'm such a good fucking nerd. Well, I knew, I knew that three takes place before what Leon's going through. Yeah, um, the, the time frame... Like, they, they drop hints to it in Resident yeah. Evil 3. You can see the places they've been to. Yeah. Change. It's it's whenever she gets hospitalized. I say hospitalized. She gets stuck at the church. Yeah. That's when this goes down. Yeah. I always feel like... Like, 3 felt kind of lazy just because it takes place... No, don't grab me. You got it? Yeah. Not bad. I, I remember when 3 first came out. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Like, I like Code Veronica more. That is one I've never played. It's good. Um, and it wasn't until, you know, later on I realized, oh, Code Veronica is supposed to be Resident Evil 3. And 3 is supposed to be, like, the side game. But Sony had, like, uh, a contract with, with Capcom that only main series of the games would show up on Sony platforms. So they switched the titles. No. Hmm. Oh god, you don't see you. C3 was... I don't, I don't know. I, I just enjoyed it a lot more. I don't know why. I would say 4 is probably the most fun to replay. It's yeah, my, uh, my, 
My first playthrough took me 24 no. hours. Yeah. I cut that by more than half my second, and then I just uh, hit down I farther guess, and farther. Because there was ammo. Because oh. like on my first, I examined every yeah. fucking nook every and corner. Cranny. Yes. Did you hear about um somebody data mined it and found out that it has adaptive difficulty? No. Yeah, if you keep fucking up the same part, yeah, it will uh. Simplify it for you. Huh. I guess I never had that problem because I. Like, I would die in Resident Evil 4, but if I died once in one spot, I usually wouldn't die there again. Unless it was like a boss or something. Like, whenever he discovered this, he took a video of it? Mm -hmm. You know, the. Like, one of the first big open areas in the castle yeah. where you meet all the cultists? Yeah. And they've got the two archers? Mm -hmm. If you fuck up enough. The archers will disappear on your retries. Huh. And it's completely intentional. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. They didn't even mention it. Yeah. That's... Normally people would stick that on the front of their fucking box. Yeah. It's, it's something that I didn't even know about. Like I said, though, I didn't have too much trouble with 4. I like to think a lot of people didn't, though. I died a lot for the fucking QTEs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Particularly the Krauser fight. Cause they yeah, just, they fucking yeah. come up out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, but Left 4 Dead had the very difficulty, but that was a feature. Like, there's a director <laughs> who's watching you, yeah. and if you're doing too good, he'd send more and more shit. Which is true, by the way, because uh, Evan and I were playing it. We get to the final part, and it sends like three tanks after us because we didn't die you? a single time the entire playthrough. Oh, oh, Jesus. You must be the new guy. They completely fucked it up for Leon. two, though. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, too, has some pretty hilarious glitches like if you have a scratched up disc. Really? Evan has a crack in his disc, what like happened? in the middle, and somehow that's affected it. Um, there was one where ago, a witch's face was just wallpaper was on the wall. That is horrifying. And the uh, tank that was made completely out of action. caution tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Chris. That is awesome! Did you get pictures or something? I think he has a picture of the witch face, but that's it. Oh, God, I must see this. He's, I think he's got a new phone since then, so he may not have it anymore. Didn't put it up on the Book of Faces? Ah. At least I don't remember. If he did, it was a long time ago. This was before I met you. Oh, absolutely. Hang in there. Yeah, he'll be fine. He's only got fucking like three mortal wounds in his stomach. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. He tells me to go to rescue yeah. survivors, and you only Take see like maybe guard. two or three people in you this entire game. You should be able game, to unlock the doors in the hall dude. with this. Yeah. Now go. Clever. But. Oh, excuse me. Watching my brother Just play go. this, and I was like, "Other oh, survivors," and then it's like you see no one. Fine. Ever. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. You can't turn on fast load on the PS3, can you? It's on the PSP, that. isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Fuck, I was gonna tell you to do it because I noticed it hang. On I think he's able to. He he followed me to the door and locked it. Hold on, let's see. The other settings. Nope. Nope. It's PSP and Vita only. What the fuck? Nice PS3. Yeah, that's so odd. <gasps> oh, you okay there? Every recording. Every recording. <laughs> I like the, the the test video is like a zombie just like eating the camera. It is, isn't it? Pretty much. Zoom in on that. Yep. It's kind of creepy. I'm gonna regret not saving there, am I? I was actually going to <laughs> warn you. I'll be. Fine. Don't those fucking liquors pop up pretty soon? There's one in here, but you can blow past him. I was about to say, this is normally, like... <clears throat> the demo I mentioned earlier was timed. Yeah. So, I got really good okay, got it. at getting through as much of the police station as I could in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. However, I would always... Like, finding those little bastards would completely hang me up. Yeah. Because there was one time... I had did like a near perfect run. Yeah. A little cocksucker, you know, yeah. brained me, killed yeah. me instantly. Tell me if you remember this part. Yeah. 
that freaked me the fuck out as a kid. I would never like. I would always refuse to try to go in here, even though it's the next <laughs> spot you have to go to. It was like something just crawled across the window. 